In this AS Music Technology Revision session, we're going to look at microphones and recording. Now, for microphones and recording, this is going to happen throughout the exam, both in questions A, sorry, in sections A and sections B. So you're going to need to have quite a broad knowledge of microphones and recording techniques, okay? So they could come up in any part of the exam. Now, the common information that you're going to need for, for this particular area is the types of microphone that could be used, the polar patterns that could be used, the positioning of the microphones or multiple microphones, and then the practical applications. What things do you need to consider when recording? Because you will have to do some problem solving for this aspect as well, okay? So, in this revision session, we're going to look at the following. So we're going to look at different types of microphones and so making sure that you know the difference between a dynamic microphone and a condenser microphone making sure you understand the difference between the four main polar patterns which is cardioid, hypercardioid, omnidirectional and figure of eight. Make sure you understand how to position a microphone correctly. Now we tend to work in centimeters for this so understanding how far away you're going to position your microphone whether it be close miking or ambient miking and then give a rough approximation of the distance as well. You're also going to need to consider things like proximity effect as well for this. So if the microphone gets too close to an instrument or too far away, it can kind of make the instrument or voice sound more bassy or less bassy, and that's proximity effect. And that question always comes up um, in most, most years, okay? Then you're going to need to know when to use different methods of recording. So when do you DI, direct inject, or use microphones, or in some cases like bass, when do you use both? A common one that comes up every year is how to record an instrument, or how to problem solve an instrument from a recording. Okay, and generally you get asked, okay, what kind of microphone would you use, what kind of polar pattern, and how far away to solve this problem. And it can be any kind of instrument, from saxophone we had one year, we've had voice, um, and we've had a multitude over the, over the years. And then finally, like I said before, practical application experimentation. Knowing that you need to use closed back headphones so you don't get spill from the mix when you're recording vocals. Knowing that proximity effect. Um, knowing when to use a pop shield and why you would use a pop shield and so on. So those are the rough ones. And we've, we've included quite a few examples and quite a few videos of how to record instruments. And we've got a presentation that shows you all the different aspects of a microphone and how that works. We've also included some um, past questions as well and how much they're worth to get you into the habit of answering them. You should definitely have a go at answering these particular questions and also replace the keyword like grand piano with another instrument like saxophone just so you get used to answering them for different instruments as well. So as said previously, the questions that you could be asked throughout the exam in section A and B could include how would you record an instrument or group of instruments, problems um, with a recording and how you would solve them, and I've, I've included a question based around that one as well, recording in a live situation versus recording in a studio situation, and then finally when to DI an instrument and when not to or when to use microphones. Final thought then, if this isn't one of your particularly strong aspects and you're coming into it quite fresh, close to the exam, when in doubt, write about basic re recording techniques, okay? Keep it basic. If you're not sure about ambient technique or stereo miking technique and you, you're kind of struggling with that, making sure you've got a basic understanding of the type of microphones that you would use, the polar patterns that you would use, and the kind of positioning is always going to get you between two and three marks, okay? So when in doubt, write about the basics. Okay, I hope you enjoyed today's recording session. <laughs> it's not a recording session. I hope you enjoyed today's revision session. Get loads out of it. We'll be back in tomorrow for some more revision, of course. Um, but there's enough in this particular um, session to keep you going for at least a day, if not a lot longer, okay? So I'll see you in the next one.